Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Dilbo Dabgins. That is Dilbo with a B, and we're in the finals, baby. We made it. It is the finals of the Eternal Champion Series. I am super excited for today's match, man. All of the competitors today have worked super hard to get to this point, and it's going to be an awesome show. I am joined once again by my good friend, Bizra. He's going to be helping me keep the hype up. What's going on, Busy? Thank you so much for coming back for the finals, man. I'm super excited to be here. Uh, my name is Bizra, as Dilbo said. I'm one of the guild leaders in North America. And man, I'm just freaking pumped. This is the finals. 35 minutes is going to decide who wins the cash and prizes today, Dilbo. And uh, these guys have been working hard, man. I'm super proud of some of these guys uh, coming up through the wild cards and uh, showing their strengths. And it's going to be a battle today. Sharks in a tank. And I hope you guys are ready for a bloodbath. A lot of really high skilled players. Real big members of the community have made it to this point, and they've all been playing Hunger Dome, which is a new game mode inside of Crowfall, an arena style game mode. Uh, you know, that's what this entire tournament has been about. So we got a little video to show you guys what Hunger Dome is if you don't know what it is, and we'll be right back afterwards. Welcome to the Hunger Dome, the world's first massively multiplayer online battle arena a competitive PVP match where 12 teams fight for control of a dying world. Each team has five players. Bring in your favorite Crowfall character or select from a list of max level archetypes. Teams begin on the outside of the map and must avoid the collapsing dome of fog or face elimination. Fight monsters or scavenge for equipment. Capture strongholds to bring fallen teammates back into the match. Each game match lasts 30 minutes or less if you are eliminated early. Good luck, Crows, and may the gods lead you to victory. So that was a little bit about Hunger Dome inside of the PvP MMO Crowfall that's currently in beta. This entire tournament has all been inside of that game mode and it has been a hell of a ride getting to this point and seeing how Hunger Dome has really changed and grown throughout the entire tournament. If you're interested in Crowfall, make sure you go to crowfall.com, sign up, get into the beta man, play some Hunger Dome, play some uh, Guild vs. Guild open world, stuff like that. It's it's a great time. So we this entire tournament has been sponsored by our signature sponsor, Razor. We got to give them thanks once again for getting us to this point. Thank you so much for Razor with their Chroma Series integrated peripherals, their Naga Mouse, Black Widow keyboard, and Siren microphone. You can get that connected with Crowfall as you're casting abilities, things light up. I actually just got my Naga set up last night. So thank you so much for Razor, our signature sponsor, supporting Crowfall, supporting the entire Eternal Champion Series and uh, getting us to these finals, Busy. Man, you know, we got these twist drops too, Biz. We're here, man. These are the last twist drops. The last, you know, people have been loving these twist drops and I'm super happy for uh, for the community to be able to, to be able to earn this stuff. I see, I've seen a bunch of people flexing in Crowfall already, but Biz, this is the last twist drops, man. What, what are these wonderful people watching today able to win? Guys, if you connect your Crowfall account with your Twitch account at crowfall.com slash Twitch, uh, you'll be able to get rewards here every 15 minutes. Today, we've got the purple heroes thrown here for your eternal kingdom or your personal housing here in Crowfall. You'll get a gold heroes condemnation sigil, which will give you a 2% crit strike. And then we've got a spirit crows totem with guys. We got damage bonus plus two. Uh, so watch, make sure you claim those in your uh, inventory here on Twitch, and you'll be rewarded for those with those every 15 minutes. Yeah, that Spirit Crows totem is pretty neat. I lo I'm loving these totems and all of the cool stuff we're getting. And, and those exclusive drops, you can only get them throughout this tournament. So this is the last day you're going to be able to get that exclusive drop. And, uh, you know, you'll have a piece of Crowfall history. You'll be able to say you were here for the first ever Eternal Champion Series. So make sure you go to crowfall.com slash Twitch. Get your account set up. Even if you don't have access to the game right now, you can still earn these drops. And uh, make sure you have this. This stream is the only stream you have open and the player is unmuted. Otherwise, Twitch drops gets a little bit messed up. All right, Biz. We've had six qualifier rounds, three wild card rounds. We are in the finals officially. All of these teams that have gotten to this point have worked their butts off, man. What has happened? Lay out the land for us. How? What are the stories of the Eternal Champion series, how have they how have they gotten here, man? 
We've got some uh, underdogs I want to talk about. Specifically, uh, the boys at Corvus Conscripts uh, are here. They gave it some swings in the uh, qualifiers and actually made it to the finals. They're going to put up a showing today. Uh, but we've also got the boys of YGG Brazil who are claiming they are going to win and take us all to Brazil. Uh, but we got to talk about qualifier three with the showing that Winter Bads gave us. Philo the Jester literally hiding behind a tree with one hit point. His healers, John, scored really just keeping him up there in those final moments and those guys pulling through and winning it. Uh, and then but we can't talk about the uh, we got to talk about the other teams, though, too. Uh, I'm talking about average Joes. These guys came through the wild cards and Vanguard Black, as you see on the right side of the screen there. These guys lit it up. Yeah, it was an outstanding show yesterday, Bizra, for wild card round three. We had Vanguard Black and average Joes place first and second to be able to get into the finals today. And as you can see, you know, they were in the qualifiers. They weren't able to get first place, but then they were able to win wild card round three and get in there. And you can see Vanguard Black with those 27 kills tying the current record for the entire tournament. So hopefully they're able to, you know, break that record today. We'll see. This finals is going to be a lot of fun, man. You know, we see Vanguard Black. That was the composition that they were running yesterday. And we've talked about him before. Yamix on this Archmage, man, just putting out the damage. He did it in Qualifier 3. He did it in Wildcard 3. Just an outstanding performance from Yamix on that Archmage. And, you know, it really showing off this class and all of its strengths, Bezra. You know, it's a really high skill class. And then using that Crystal Lance ability that has an execute that allows you to do massive crit damage if your enemy is underneath 30% health. Just, just an outstanding performance from Yomix on this Archmage, really showing off that class. And then Biz, you know, you love it, you're loving these average Joes, man. Sambuca on that Frost Guard. I mean, he just he just played wonderfully too to be able to get his team into second place. Yeah, this guy chose a Frost Guard because he knew it was going to be a wall of ice in that final circle. And man, did he play it well. I mean, I got to give him credit. I think he was there with Arcani in that final circle, just holding that that final minute. And one of the things they have is that protection stake, which re just reduces the damage that they take. And a personal thing they have is that Frost Armor, uh, which gives them a bunch of resistances, and they can actually pass that to a teammate. So it's just a Swiss Army knife of things. Uh, Black Ice there being one that reduces the uh, healing that the enemies can receive as well. Uh, so this dude is just equipped to uh, to pretty much just debuff and, and stand there and just be a wall. So these guys took advantage of it, played it well in that final circle. But, you know, we got to talk about this man right here. This is the star of the show, highest DPS in most teams. I won't say all anymore because... You know, Vanguard has proven that the Archmage can top it, but here we got the Warden, man. Yeah, the Warden was the number one most picked class throughout the entire tournament. We saw many, many teams take this class, and it's just a really strong archetype inside of Hunger Dome, but then also in, you know, the World vs. World, vs. World uh, Guild vs. Guild part of the game. You know, it's just Warden is just a really strong class right now, so of course... They were it was picked the most throughout the entire tournament it did consistently did the most damage consistently had the most kills using those traps to be able to stun people and put up put dots on on the enemies you know just just an outstanding uh you know class to run if you're interested in playing crowfall you're interested in playing hunger dome maybe a warden is a is a great spot to start bizra yeah for sure it's got uh some sustain it's wearing mail and uh it puts out a good amount of CC and damage. So it's just kind of one of those Swiss Army knives that you have to bring or else, uh, you know, you can't make the campfire, Dobo. So the Twitch drops aren't the only way you guys are able to win some awesome stuff for watching this uh, this stream and, and throughout the entire Eternal Champions series. We have partnered with Alienware, one of our wonderful sponsors, supporting Crowfall, supporting the tournament. If you go to the Crowfall game Twitter account and you retweet this image with the number of Ganeshans that you see, you're able to win one of the awesome Crowfall Eternal Champion Series t-shirts. And we'll be announcing those winners at the end of today's show. We've had, a, we've had winners every single day, and today is the last one. So if you haven't gotten this t-shirt yet, Bizra, you know, you got you to gotta be able to retweet and try to get yourself one. I know. I thought I was going to get one, but I don't know. I might need two. <laughs> Look at that little guy, though. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I mean, Ganeshans are a fun class, man, or a fun Look race. That, and, and the, Look at them in the front. All right, I found one for you guys, Chad. There's one in the front right there. That's one for you. All right, so <laughs> you can't mess that one up. You got to be able to find that one. Oh man, just uh, thank you so much for Alienware supporting Crowfall and supporting the supporting the tournament, man. So 
All right, Biz, let's talk about the competitors today. Let's break down these teams. Let's talk about the individuals, man. I mean, really, this finals match is going to be intense, man. There are some big, big names on this list. Some players have been playing this game for a long time, and they are of what I would like to say the highest skilled players in the in the entirety of Crowfall. Biz, who are the, some of the shout outs you're, you're, you're uh, shouting out today? Well, we got teams from pretty much every guild in the game that's active right now. And I love seeing uh, pretty much a widespread like this. And I think it's going to be a very, very good contest to see not only a battle of strength, uh, but a test of endurance and, uh, you know, just coordination and, and how well these teams can ex execute the plans they've made. Now, uh, got to give a shout out to, uh, you know, some of the the top dogs here on the left side of the screen. These guys are pretty much the qualifiers that... Uh, got right to finals here magnolia ygg corvus threatened me house of ari and praise you know but uh uh you know we just got to call out pretty much the best parts uh the healers and, and the and the liquid damage uh that vanguard has uh these guys are going to be the sharks i think everybody is kind of rooting for these guys uh to to be aggressive and give us the show that we're we're wanting to see but uh who's your favorite team on this board dilbo Oh, you can't ask me that, man. People are going to be mad at me, but it's 100% Vanguard Black. I said it. I did it. I want to see <laughs> Vanguard Black take it, man. I want to see them just you just wipe the field, man. I, I want them to break that, uh, that, that kill record. But, I mean, it's going to be hard for them, man. It's really going to be. I mean, everybody on that list and all those teams are extremely high-skilled. I mean, they wouldn't be in this finals match if it wasn't for their skill level and, and just how they're able to play these archetypes and how they're able to play these classes at a high level. One of the best things about Crowfall is, you know, it's it's pretty easy to start, but there's so much after, you know, once you once you start learning something, there's such a high skill cap that you can eventually reach and all of these players were able to to you know reach that. So just, a, just I'm super excited biz. I can't wait to get into this match, man. It's going to be great. Yeah, I think uh, these guys have prepared for the last two months uh, to get to this point. I think they're, uh, you know, ready like a shark in a tank waiting for that meal to come down. You know, they're snipping at the water. And I think today is going to be a bloodbath. I hope you guys are ready. Uh, we're here for ECS finals. The There's a lot of money on the line. There's a lot of prizes on the line. There's a lot of emotion for these teams. These guys have worked hard. There's going to be heartbreak today at the end of this uh, this show. And, and uh, there's going to be teams and guilds that, you know, experience rifts because of it. You know, so... You know, sit to sit tight and, and just watch because you're about to see Crowfall history and what's going to happen today is going to shape the landscape, not only here for ECS, uh, but for some people personally and in the game for some of these guilds. So sit tight, guys. We got a show for you. That's for sure. So speaking of people that have worked extremely hard, you know, there's an entire production team behind the scenes helping make put on this show. And it's the last time we're doing this all together. So thank you to all of them for making this happen. But then also our affiliates, you know, Furious Beard Show, the man with the magic beard. He's here once again. Uh, this is going to be the last time we're going to see his wonderful beard and his wonderful face. Biz, or not, I'm sorry, not Biz, Furious, man. What are you excited about? Who's, who's your call today? Who are you following? Man, I'm I'm real pumped today. Uh, I'm following Vanguard Black. I gotta see if the mojo carries over from yesterday, man. I gotta see if that can carry through to the win winning the finals here. Uh, and then I'm of course they I'm also gonna be checking in. Win it. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> and then uh, I'm uh, I, and then I gotta check in on my on my boys Corvus. They're my dark horse today, so that's who that's who I'm looking after. Uh, all these teams deserve to be here, man. You guys have been saying it. I, there's not much else to say. We know they've been practicing hard. Uh, if there's no Hunger Dome open, they're in those Eternal Kingdoms, duking it out, trying to trying to stay focused. I'm I'm just. It's sad to see it in, but it's also it's also going to be an amazing match. I'm I'm waiting. I can't I can't wait. <laughs> I'm I'm stoked. <laughs> Yeah, I can't wait, man. All right, Furious, much love, brother. Thank you so much for uh, doing this, and uh, it's going to be a great finals match. Moving on to Rufio. You know him. You love him. He's been helping out a lot, you know, teaching teaching new players. What's up, Rufio, man? It's going to be a hell of a match today. Oh, yeah. I am so excited to be here. Today is the day, the day we've all been waiting for. I can't believe it's already here. 
Uh, we've got some highly skilled players, some super coordinated, disciplined teams. Uh, it's just going to be a great match. So uh, another thing I want to shout out is to Ace Artcraft Entertainment. Thank you so much for the opportunity for letting me be here today and spectate and participate in this event. And for those that don't know, um, I stream Crow all the time on twitch.tv slash Rufio. So make sure to check me out there. Um, today, I will be uh, spectating a couple of guilds that are very close to me, um, Winter Bads and House of Ari. So I've been playing with them for a very long time and excited to see them in action in this final event. All right, man. Thank you so much, Rufio. We'll be checking in with you. And make sure you do go over to his Twitch channel. Twitch channel. He's a great dude. He'll be able to help you learn Crowfall. Coming up next, certainly not least, though, Equinar helping us get those creamy top-down shots, as always. What's up, Equinar? Thank you so much for coming back for the finals, man. Oh, thanks for having me. Yeah, man, like everyone's been saying, everyone's been thinking it. There's 35 minutes left. You have 35 minutes to prove that you're the team that's going to earn that $25,000. So it'll be interesting to see how each of these teams breaks that down minute by minute. Uh, today I'll be following Threaten, Threaten Me with a Good Time, Thunder From Down Under, and Praise the Mayonnaise. So it should be uh, interesting to see how they change things up. All right, man. Can't wait. Can't wait to see, you know, these teams compete. And we'll be checking with you throughout the match. Absolutely. All right, Busy. We're getting there, man. We're almost there. It's it's about to be carton drop. The match is about to start. I cannot wait. Who are you? Uh, who are you spectating? And who's your uh, who's your favorite? Uh, it's go time, Dilbo. Uh, this is it. As Equinar said, we got thirty five minutes, and uh, winner takes all here. Uh, there are prizes, obviously, for the losers, but twenty five thousand dollars. You know, five thousand dollars a player can be life-changing for some of these dudes. Uh, I'm going to be following YGG Brazil today. Uh, hopefully, uh, they're going to take everybody to Brazil. That's what they're saying, but we'll see. I'll be following them closely and trying to keep the camera tight for you guys. Hell yeah. So, yeah, we're about to get in this match, man. We got to pay our dues once more. Thank our wonderful sponsors for helping put on the Eternal Champion Series. You know, without them, they, we wouldn't have all these awesome prizes for our competitors and the prize money, you know, and giving back to you guys and help make Crowfall awesome. So thank you so much for Alienware, one of our one of our main sponsors, doing, you know, that awesome Crowfall game Twitter account challenge. Make sure you go there. You retweet that image with the number of Ganesians you can see with the so you can win a T-shirt. And then also Intel with their core i9 10th generation processor helps crowfall run buttery smooth and our signature sponsor razor with their chroma series integrated peripherals their naga mouse black widow keyboard and siren microphone thank you so much for all of our sponsors helping make crowfall happen helping make the hunger dome happen and helping make eternal champion series happen it's going to be a great one biz i cannot Wait, I, we're we're buying time here, man. I, I want to I want to see it. I want to get hear the hear in my ear that you know the, the match has started. So, man, I just can't wait to see these teams compete. It's been a hell of a ride getting to this point. Every single one of these teams has been working so hard to get here. I mean, and just I mean, I I would have never have thought Crowfall would have gotten to this point where you know people that I consider my friends, people that I've known in the community, are able to to compete for this life changing you know money and grand prize it's just going to be an incredible match to see and i can't wait to see uh you know some some of my good friends win some stuff yeah i think the money is definitely a prize but the trophy will be the bragging rights definitely uh on the forums and in these chat rooms you know there's going to be some serious flexing and i hope we see some sweet videos on youtube of of each team's personal stories as they go through it i know after the show we're going to have some uh, interviews with uh, some of the teams so stick around for that and dilbo i do hear the match starting to tick in my ear so things are starting to spin uh we're on the final seconds here before we go live and i know the players are just as anxious as everyone in the chat uh for this to go through uh you know like hot butter like you said dilbo hot butter through knife man i was hoping to, hoping that wasn't going to come up again but it did so man I dude i just want to get this match started but make sure you guys stick around too at the end of this match we have a, a special guest that's going to be stopping in so the end of the show is going to be a little bit different we got you know the prize giveaway you know we're going to be interviewing the the team leader of the winning team and we got a special guest hopping on screen talking to you guys so make sure you guys don't go anywhere after the match and uh, we'll be able to experience all that together. And, you know, if you're interested in Crowfall, maybe you don't know what Crowfall is, you're tuning in for the first time. Crowfall is a PvP throw more MMO that's currently in beta. It's a really, you know, awesome uh, MMO that takes, you know, that, that tries to do things differently in a really great way. You know, they try to create an experience that, you know, has you interacting with people on a daily basis. 
you know, and competing in these really high risk, high reward scenarios and winning, winning also awesome throne war matches and, and guild versus guild style stuff. And then now hunger dome, you know, exists in a way where you can get a, get a group together of your friends, maybe go get, go uh, get five of your best friends, go play some hunger dome experience that small scale PVP. So make sure you go to crowfall.com, sign up, get into the beta, man. It's a lot of fun. And there's people like me and Bizra and all the affiliates and in the community really are all great people and they'll help you learn the game. So make sure you do that, man. Biz, I, I'm, I want the match to start. I'm stalling here. <laughs> we got to get into this match, man. Well, Dilbo, I got news for you. We're about to uh, drop the curtain here. I'm coming at you with YGG Brazil, their guild leader, Coyote. Uh, well, co-guild leader, both of them standing together. Actually, you Dead Pro and Coyote. These guys come from Brazil and run a tight ship. Uh, one, of, one of the greatest teams in here, but we're going to see if they hold it down and, and come through. Uh, not going to toot their horn too much here, but 35 minutes is what we have. And what these guys are going to do in the beginning of the game is just kind of spread out and start looking for treasure. Uh, everybody's got their own purpose and their own job. Some are going to go to these hunger camps like we're seeing now as he's going through. He's going to be looking for big treasure chests that are going to contain some loot. Now, uh, each of these treasure chests have a different rarity. You know, Crowfall is just like any other MMO. It's got, you know, the basic color loot scheme where green, blue, purple, orange are the, the kind of standard uh, loot drops that you'll be seeing. Now, there are different things that come in these chests like weapons and uh, in some of these bookshelves, you'll even find rare pieces of jewelry now, uh, it's all pretty much luck of the draw, though. As these guys are stumbling on a ledgy chest, they're getting pretty lucky right off yeah. the bat, though, Dilbo. Looks like Coyote got some, got some good luck there, man. He found a legendary chest right off the bat. That's going to be great. He's going to be able to spread that loot around to his teammates via the click and drag system that's you know unique to Crowfall. And yeah, there's a good shot of the possible loot that you can get. And that legendary gear really does help, especially at this point in the match, being able to have that gear early on and be able to secure, you know, the fights that you're getting into, knowing that you have that gear, you know, helping you out in those fights, you're able to be a little bit more aggressive. It does look like YGG Brazil is gonna be moving into this fort here to try to capture this, to be able to get a resurrection point. So if you're new to Crowfall, you're new to Hunger Dome, there's multiple points of interest on the map inside of hunger dome that allow you to be uh you use them as resurrection points as the seasons go on throughout the match resurrection certain points of interest and certain resurrection points get disabled so in about three minutes here the outpost that every team spawned at will be disabled so being able to capture this fort here using this as a kind of a, a place to start you know start your base of operations from in the match having this fort is going to be extremely important uh, moving into the center of the map where we got griffins and the castle and more vendors to be able to upgrade your gear for your entire team this uh ygg brazil team they were able to win qualifier two and bizarre you know they they played this mat they played qualifier two really interesting you know they 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 only took the fights when they really mattered and i can't i think i remember you know the team leader saying at the end of the match you know hunger dome it's about surviving man and i wonder just i wonder if that their composition and their strategy is going to match going into the going into the final or in the finals now Bizra. yeah i think these guys are going to uh definitely stick to a plan and try and uh, make sure they do uh you know pass loot out and make sure their economics are straight now using time poorly and and using money uh poorly can cost you late game if you do it now so i think it's just important that these guys get out there and farm and they use every minute possible to make sure they have uh what they need for sure so we see coyote here on that warden we've we've seen that warden multiple times throughout the match. we i mean we talked about it earlier today man such a good archetype such a good class to have and especially having your team leader on it we're gonna be jumping over to furious here furious seems to have a griffin fight uh and not it's not super early griffin fight uh or griffin push uh furious but you know these Fur these griffins are extremely important to have man they definitely are and it i'm just getting a peek into the background and there might be a secondary team coming in here for oh this, yeah for this griffin so we might we might have a uh, a good fight going down guys and with it's the brazil YGG oh, Brazil. <laughs> so we're gonna have uh, Brazil. 
Brazil versus Vanguard over here. Vanguard's going to be the blue and yellow crest there. They're going to be trying. They're going to get this. They might get this Griffin down in time. They they might be backing out. Oh man, I didn't think Vanguard Black was going to back going to pack out from that fight. Oh, well, they're pulling the Griffin closer to they're the keep. They're just bringing him tight, they, Bilbo. Well, yeah, they want to be careful not to leash it here because then the, then it will completely reset and they'll have to restart the Griffin fight. But yeah, YGG Brazil, they're going to be using this Griffin as kind of an extra teammate. YG Brazil has that orange crest. Vanguard Black has the blue and yellow crest. We might see a really good fight here in the very beginning of this match, Bizra. Big DPS going out. Yeah, it looks like they're focusing uh, just AOE fire, putting DPS on Makuza. Uh, these guys are in a full retreat. Coyote's being super aggressive here. Even though yeah, his, half is, his health deep. is half, he's got an ultimate that he can pop that will give him uh, life, life steal and regen. So he's just being super aggressive, relying on his healers as they're just pushing Vanguard here back. Yeah, both teams left that Griffin and Coyote went super deep there. He, I mean, the team leader, man, he's 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 going to be ferocious. He's got to lead by example. You know, this is two really strong teams here. Vanguard Black holds the record for the most kills in a, in a single match throughout the entire tournament. And they're they're kind of split up. You, you see how half of their yeah. team's up on this rock and half of it's down below, Biz. They got to really regroup here. I don't want Vanguard Black to be losing a, losing a member this early on. I mean, we saw YGG Brazil get that fort, so they have a resurrection point, but curious, were, were Vanguard Black able to capture a resurrection point of fort before they were able to take that Griffin or start that Griffin? No, they <laughs> no, they just decided, hey, we're going we're going headlong into it, and if we can grab a keep early, uh, then so be it. Otherwise, we're going to be looking for fights. We're going to be looking to get that gear real early. Uh, I did see that Ancient Griffin reset, so it is full health now. Uh, but this fight looks like it's starting to go in the favor of, uh, of Vanguard yeah. Black here. I'm seeing some people starting to get low, but Arnon is about not, to go down. Not. Oh, he hits that. He hits that heal Ooh. perfectly. Almost, Farnum almost feel. goes down on YG Brazil. That was, whew, that was really clutch right there from uh, from Farnum. They're uh, they're gonna have to back out. I mean, I'm not necessarily sure this fight is lasting. A little bit too long, in my opinion, Bizra. You know, you're wasting a lot of time here. You're not able to farm. You're not able to get Griffins. You're not able to capture any points. Why did you Brazil? They did. They did get that legendary chest, and they did get that fort. But still, Bizra, I, I'm I'm feeling like this this needs to be a disengage here. Yeah, this is a crazy fight to take early on. I think they're both flexing their muscles. I absolutely love it personally, man. These guys are like sharks battling and uh this is what i live for you know it might be a foolish fight to take and it might be a little little too long on the time side where these guys could be farming and working on uh you know building their characters gear up but this is a flex here this is definitely a showing of of uh two two sharks two hammerhead sharks going at it and i'm just i'm just proud to see this now both teams are just doing a really good job at focusing their targets but their healers man their healers just keep saving them yeah. and saving them it does look like you dead's getting a little low though on that if they can keep the damage yeah. up. Oh, he does go down. Udev Pro's going to go down. So YGG Brazil's going to lose one member. Now Vanguard Black's going to try to get on them like a bunch of sharks, as my friend Bizzard would say. You see you see one person use their Confessor Ultimate to go invisible on the right-hand side over there. Yomix is chasing down on that Archmage. Going to be trying to take out another member of YGG Brazil. There goes down Arna, maybe, possibly. Oh, is he going to get the? Is he going to be able to? Li no, okay, okay. He does go down. I was about to say that's going to be incredible. So Vishu is now Dilbo chasing Coyote. down. Dilbo Coyote just aggroed the ancient onto Vanguard <laughs> to get their escape oh, going. Wow. Okay. All right. So Coyote using the using the ancient Griffin as another team member to try to pull off some of the aggro, but Vishu is still on top of this YGG member here, Madarana Rhino, and. Yeah, I mean, they still had that resurrection point, so it's not like they're out of this match, but man, Vanguard Black took that really long fight and, and was able to turn it into a win there. And Furious, as we see, they're getting right back on this Griffin and getting right back to work with their original plan. Yeah, not, not quite what they were uh, hoping for positioning-wise with that Griffin, but they, they did a good job of holding on to it. I'll give them that much. So we're going to be jumping over with Equinar here. He has another fight, it looks like, at a fort. Two, uh, two teams going at it to, for the control of this fort. Equinar, catch us up, man. How do these two teams collide? So threaten me with a good time here on the uh, green shield with the yellow flower. Decided that they were going to try and overtake this uh, 
fort from praise the mayonnaise and praise the mayonnaise stopped what they were doing immediately ran back and stopped them from doing what they were trying to do yeah so it, it does look like they're gonna disengage here threaten me with a good time they realize you know fighting on that fort fighting on that fort having you know the disadvantage as far as praise the man is is able to resurrect there just it's just kind of a pointless fight Jumping over with Bizra, it looks like this team is going to be taking that YGG fort that we uh, that we that we saw them take earlier, and this is Magnolia, correct, Bizra? This team won the qualifier round one, the very first qualifiers. Uh, that's true, Dilbo. I just was uh, following YGG. This fort was owned by them, and uh, Magnolia was fighting off a team uh, in the distance. I didn't catch who they were actually fighting, but uh, they thwarted them off and ended up taking the fort from YGG Brazil. But uh, what, what happened was YGG was able to spawn, get out of here, and they're back to farming. So these guys are pretty much just here uh, getting their gear topped off. You can actually see this dude equipping a shield uh, on his back here. Uh, which is super, super cool, you know, uh, just to see, be able to see gear going on them. So, uh, you know, it's just uh, these guys fueling up and they're going back to action. So that Arbiter there, Skull Knight, he was talking to a vendor and buying gear. That's a good shot of what you're able to buy. So at the forts, there are this uh, these uncommon weapon vendors or gear vendors, which is the color green. And as you move farther and farther into the center of the map, the vendors get better and better. So it'll go from green to blue to purple to legendary. And the legendary vendor is the very center in that castle. And that we're going to see probably a lot of teams going for that legendary vendor, trying to get that gear. We see Zerain here looks to be on that inquisitor and you know all, these inquisitors have been doing great in in hunger dome and in the rest of crowfall really it's become a really strong healer in the entire game of crowfall this are what makes an inquisitor special why are they able to you know why are they a such a high pick as far as it comes to to healing uh the great thing about the inquisitor is they have a ability called fire of life and what that does is it heals the whole group uh, for a large rescue heal. And also what that does is it prevents them from dying one time. So uh, these dudes actually prevent a whole group member, a whole group from dying if they uh, if they were to suffer like a fatal blow. Uh, so that makes them very, very important. And another thing is just their survivability. You know, they have the ability to go invisible uh, as their ultimate, and that lets them get away from a lot of sticky situations. Yeah, it's definitely a pain in the side when you're fighting oh, a confessor. Team. And they're able to go invisible. We're go looks like we might have a little sneaky engagement here. Maybe a little slap fight. I don't know if Magnolia wants this though, Biz. They seem to be kind of they seem to be kind of running away from this. I'm not sure. Yeah, they they don't want any of that smoke right now. They're they're on a on a different mission at the moment, trying to maybe uh, go capture uh, maybe another fort or, or get some more gear that they may maybe not had uh, for a little while there. So we're going to be trying to catch up with that Magnolia team, but it seems like a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of these um, teams are just, they're playing smart right now. You know, they're trying to, you know, find, uh, you know, the gear that, the gear, because this is, this is actually the most populated match we've been in so far throughout the entire tournament. 12 teams, 59 people in it right now. Just, you know, this is going to be a real fiery match with all of these teams coming at it. Oh, that's a really good little graphic there. You're able to see, you know all the teams based on the crest there and i'm gonna do my best to try to uh say that as we get into fights because i'm sure it's difficult to be able to know what team i'm talking about when i say it so i'll do my best to to, to bring that up as well but it looks like ygg brazil here they're gonna be grabbing that vendor and if my memory serves me if we were close to a griffin there that was a a blue vendor so there's th there's four blue vendors right next to all the griffins I can't necessarily tell where we are on the map there. So we might have been at a blue vendor, but I'm not 100% certain. And Biz, I mean, these teams, we've, we're seeing really interesting strategies. This is a very slow, methodical match so far. We've seen a few fights, but a lot of these teams are just trying to focus on the gold and focus on having resurrection points. It's quite interesting, Bizra. Yeah, we had YGG take that fight with Vanguard early on, and that was awesome. You know, these two teams battling out. Yeah, I don't think either team really had enough gear to make it like a real even fight. Uh, we'll see those later on, but this YGG team had enough time to go respawn, uh, farm some gold, and actually get some gear. None of them are naked anymore or anything like that. So now what they're doing is just getting another spawn for later and making sure that they have you know a place to, to respawn in the future. Uh, forts 
are going to be uh, expiring here shortly as we move into the uh, later seasons. we got a few minutes left on the summer, but these guys are just taking this uh, keep here. They're going to look for any treasure chest that might be on it. Uh, looks like YGG's kind of peeking. He's got a green chest here, and they're going to see if they can find any uh, any loot. Yeah, so if you can, if, if you see uh, on the bottom right hand side of the screen there, there was a uh, a season timer. That's a good little shot of what you can find in that chest. But in the bottom right hand screen, there's you can see the seasons. So it goes spring, summer, fall, winter. And as you can see, summer is about to end. Once summer ends, you can no longer spawn at forts. And that's why this keep control is becoming more and more important. There's only four keeps on the map. I mean, with 12 teams, that's a lot. That's a lot of teams that won't be able to get a keep. And we saw YGG Brazil there. They're taking that uh, They're taking that vendor. They're going to be gearing up, getting, getting some more blue gear. Um, and, and, you know, and just having that gear is going to be extremely important. Here's a great shot of the current situation. The teams that do have, you know, resurrections. It looks like YGG Brazil has a keep. Vanguard Black has a keep, keep. And Magnolia has a keep. Nobody has captured that south keep yet. But all of those forts are going to be taken up here quite soon. As you can see, the circle is going to be moving in smaller and eventually consume those forts. We're going to be checking yeah, in with sure. Rufio. We haven't jumped over with you yet, man. Catch us up. What are the teams you've been watching been up to? We haven't been seeing a lot of fights on your end. It's true. These guys have been focusing on like, like just what you said, you know, economy, getting up that gold, getting up uh, their armor. A lot of them are all running with uh, blue armor now. The rare vendors have been hit up. So uh, now they're just kind of, you know, playing the hunger, making sure that they have a respawn or making sure other people don't have a respawn. So if they get eliminated, then they're out. So... But uh, it's been pretty quiet for uh, watching on the teams I've been spectating. Yeah, it's actually a pretty interesting point you made there, Rufio. This, this seems the winner bads here uh, who won the qualifier three. They're just kind of going around and capping other forts, making sure teams can't resurrect if they die. That's a pretty interesting strategy, you know, rather than being the ones to eliminate people, just making sure that when they do get killed in a fight, they can't resurrect pretty interesting we've we're seeing a lot of really unique strategies in the finals here i think i mean a lot of people are realizing that this is the last shot man i mean we have we're 20 minutes away from somebody's life potentially changing from the grand prize here and it's just it's incredible to see all these teams playing so methodically bizra i mean we see winter bads here who all these players are known for their aggression but i mean they're hugging the circle here they're just farming gold it's it's really interesting to see yeah, I think what we're going to see is a lot of end game action, Dilbo, and these guys are going to be geared. So we're going to see some teams just really showing what they have. Uh, I think most teams are going to be on the blue purple level when we actually see a lot of the fights come up. But, uh, you know, it's all going to gonna come down to that end circle, Dilbo. Jumping over with Furious, looks like we have Vanguard Black, which is the and blue Brazil. and yellow yep, emblem, and Brazil with the orange emblem there. These two teams look to be in the castle wall. They fought earlier, man. And uh, uh, they won round Brazil, two, man. <laughs> yeah, they, they lost. So these are the two teams they have met before, Furious. So, I mean, did they both come in kind of at the same point? Is that how these two teams collided? No, both sides came from opposite uh, sides of the castle, actually. And, uh, and I did get to see that Vanguard Black made it to the legendary vendor. So, so at least gear or gear wise, probably weapons at least are uh, legendary now. Uh, I did not get to see uh, uh, Brazil, sorry, <laughs> fumbling on my words there. I did not get to see them no, make it to the castle yet to get the vendor. Did they? Okay. They did. They, uh, I mean, keep loot, I'm sorry. Keep loot, I'm sorry. Oh, no, Udead's taking some damage here in the middle. Heavy damage on Udead. So I'm pretty sure both of these teams do have a keep unless somebody's been bat capped. So, I mean, this is still a pretty... No, Brazil I mean, does not have a res right now, Dilbo. Oh, okay, uh, so they lost does their have resurrect. a res. So Brazil did lose their resurrection. Vanguard Black and Brazil are going at it right now. Once again, Vanguard Black's in the blue and yellow crest. YGG Brazil is the orange crest. You know, and this is kind Someone of a uh, round... Someone's is round capping unit. Vanguard Black. Okay, so that's not good for either one of these teams now. Not having a resurrection point. Yep, there it goes. Vanguard Black lost the keep. It looks like they're spreading out. Maybe, uh, I don't know. Oh my goodness, YGG Brazil seems to be uh, spread out there. And Vanguard Black is now, you know, hunting down individuals. That's, that's not, that's unfortunate. I'm not really sure 
what what the call there was for for ygg brazil to kind of spread out but i mean you see vanguard black staying staying tight i mean fades might be trying to face down heidi over there but uh yeah he was, making, was, I think he was making sure he wasn't gonna yeah i think he was making sure that he wasn't gonna try to attempt to come back or maybe see uh they might go they might go for a chase too i don't, I don't know uh but uh, they i think they were making sure that they weren't gonna try and make a stand coming back in to the uh, castle make him run out, try to regroup on one of these four keeps that obviously they don't have one, so they're going to have to ninja their way into one uh, for a back cap with, with still all these teams left uh, in the match. No one's been eliminated yet. Uh, and I think I think we're just going to keep seeing Vanguard Black kind of have control of the castle for now, uh, just getting all that, all that free uh, loot going towards maybe more legendary gear if they don't already have it all. So we keep on seeing the alerts pop up at the top of your screen there. People losing keeps, people capturing keeps. You see one right there. Thunder from down under is tempting to take the south keep. And it, we're, well, these keeps are becoming really, uh, really important, especially at this stage of the map. We're going to be jumping over with Rufio here. Rufio's got a fight with uh, Winter Bads. Rufio, how do these teams, two teams compete or uh, match up? It's actually uh, House of Ari that uh, has just caught on to the KDS team over here, and they are trying to pick him off as they run away. And it looks like they're they're doing a good job so far. The House of Ari is the green and black with the green snake there, and the KDS team is the uh, kind of like the blue and white with the spider and the little red crest there. So this is a this is a pretty unique engagement here. I'm not sure if any of these teams have resurrection points, but it looks to be House of Avari is definitely, you know winning this fight in my opinion it looks like you know that frost guard is about to go down from kds but kds literally just got the rest of their team back together it looks to be they're going to try to regroup here but they might lose their frost guard there goes the frost guard so now it's a 4v5 situation and we're going to have house of avari potentially trying to clean up this team here they do not own this keep that we're close to so if they don't own a keep we might see a, an, a, another a limb there goes down there goes down another person we have house of avari cleaning up this fight we may see yeah we, there goes the spread out rufio everybody's going to be running from house of avari now man trying to uh trying to live the fight another day that's right it looks like one of them maybe two of them did get out i'm not sure i saw him in the background there so at least one of them got out falcro there on uh what looks to be the secular if my yeah that that's, that seems to be the secretary he's gonna go down but yeah so that kds team let me make sure i get their name uh proper properly here um they you know they they were able to get out that's praise the mayonnaise they were able to get out of that fight and uh you know just live to fight another day you'll see a lot of teams scatter like that trying to uh you know trying to just live coming over with equinar now we have another fight going on Equinar, this keep is uh, is got a big fight here, man. This is Ang Average Joe's versus Magnolia. Average Joe's has the the red and gray, and Magnolia has the brown and black sigil there. Equinar, how do these two, two teams meet? Uh, yeah, Magnolia just decided that they were going to try and back cap this keep. Unfortunately, Average Joe's were uh, sitting there waiting for it, <laughs> so it didn't really turn out in their favor, as you can see. They have to uh, leave now. Man, this has been a, a wild match so far. I mean, there's still 12 teams left. Bizra, I mean, this average Joes are, seem to be camping this this keep here, or at least puppy guarding it in a way. I'm really surprised. Praise the mayonnaise just got eliminated. Oh no, we just saw House of Avari take out Praise the Mayonnaise there. It just popped up. That's our first elimination in the finals. But Praise the Mayonnaise just went down. Bizra, okay, things are starting to heat up now, Biz. We're 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 gonna get we're gonna we're gonna see the finals. We see all these teams really starting to to take each other out. Jumping over with Rufio here. There's a big three-way fight going on. Magnolia, House of Avari. House of Avari did just take out one uh, another team, and it looks like YGG Brazil is coming in the background over there. So I wonder if YG Brazil is going to try to do a sandwich. They might try to get the, the third party on this. Now getting the final elimination, it's going to be important to, to try to do that because then you'll have that buff that negates 10% of the hunger damage from the circle for every team that you eliminate. So YG Brazil over there is definitely playing very, very slow. They want to make sure that they're able to take out whoever the stragglers are. 
and Rufio, it looks like we have a, a disengage here. Everybody's everybody's playing super cautious, Rufio. That's right. They uh, definitely don't want to get eliminated. They're being very cautious of their respawn, not having a respawn. So uh, they're, they're playing it safe. Oh, yeah. yeah Jobo, Navari... I, had seen, uh, I had seen the praise the mayonnaise happen. Uh, it was HOA there right before that, that engagement. And our boys YGG Brazil were actually rezzing behind them. And I kind of got to see the snippet there. But yeah, HOA just tore them apart and, and they didn't have a rez. So that was that for them. So you can see up at the top of your screen there, there's one guard left on the castle. Now we are about to be in winter in just about uh, 20 seconds if we're not already in it already so the only place that you can resurrect in inside of winter is this castle so we're going to see all these teams starting to move towards the center of this castle here trying to hit that legendary vendor trying to get some good gear but i mean they continue to play cautious we've only lost one team this is the finals biz in 10 minutes we will crown the winner of eternal champion series number one 2021 man i i'm i'm really surprised what we've seen so far not not a lot of teams have gone down yet bezra dilbo we uh just crossed into winter keeps are now inactive the only place you can res is in this center castle so everybody has to fight for it man uh equinar what do you see here brother uh yeah corvus conscripts big damage mm -hmm. Yeah, Corvus Conscripts ran, was running around the, and uh, just sort of ran face first into uh, the uh, team with the black and red shield here. The Corvus Conscript were... is the... It's Thunder Corvus from Down Under. Yeah, so Thunder from Down Under is the red and black. Corvus Conscripts is the green. And uh, it looks to be a pretty even fight so far. We did see somebody almost go down, but nobody has died just yet the circle is is pushing these teams towards the center they're gonna have to get into the castle here or they might be cut out um you know from from the circle duffy on that titan is gonna be trying to uh use his oh he's gonna hit a net pull oh no the cc negate from the from uh from the enemy there was able to negate that net pull but he does go down anyways corvus conscripts is able is, is really putting the hurt on this team bizra Duffy's going to try to hit another net pull. He's going to miss. We have this team. They're, they're, they're trying to get out. They're trying to get out, Bizra. They're trying to live to fight another day. Yeah, Thunder from Down Under really tried to give him the thunder, but uh, these guys were a lightning rod and said, heck no, uh, they're going to just bring the pain, and it uh, looks like they're going to take these guys to, uh, to Pound Town and close it out for him. Now, it looks like he might sacrifice himself to the hunger. That way they, they don't get his treasure. Bold strategy, yeah. Cotton don't get his treasure they don't want they don't want corvus conscripts i guess winning the match but that wasn't the last person left of uh thunder from down under it looks like they're on the hunt for possibly the last person here we might see corvus conscripts get an elimination oh there's another person in that wall there so you know thunder from down under still has two people alive and we're seeing this chase here they're just trying everybody's just spreading out trying to live till the final moments possibly be able to sneak a win there goes down that that member from thunder from down under so they had one person escape inside of that wall over there corvus conscripts is going to regroup and live the fight another day we're going to jump over to furious furious has another fight furious catch us up man yeah this is uh it's been a uh, very close quarters uh, engagement up here in the top of this building and i kind of saw out the window there just a second ago i don't know if the camera caught it but I saw a uh, Vanguard Black, and I don't know if they were jumping over to uh, come have a little bit, get a little bit in action in too. But I, I think I might be he hearing that action happening elsewhere outside the house right now. But yeah, I, th I think uh, Skip's team, uh, Threat Me with a Good Time, was already in the building. And I think uh, Sambuca's team, I think that they planned on using this building as well as a like as a safe location till you know the hunger started to close in a little bit more, but. Skips and Skips and the gang already beat them there, and uh, so they've had this little engagement going on up here in this uh, building ever since. Yeah, it doesn't look like either team has gone down yet. We have Average Joe's, which is the gray and red sigil there, and we have um, Threaten Me with a good, good Time. Yeah, who, who's that green sigil there? And they, yeah, they're, they're just having a little slap fight, Biz, right at the top of this uh, at the top of this building here. 
it does look like Enter another team is coming up. in Abyssal. yeah the, yeah here comes Abyssal. another team is coming in maybe trying to join the party they're having Hammers. look okay so so threaten me with a good time was able to claim the top of that building there and uh average joe's had to leave the building and now they're going to be going up on this uh on this uh bridge here look at all these teams in <laughs> one spot here bizra oh my goodness there's so this many teams nuts. they're about to collide vanguard this black is, uh, is still the kill leader with six and zero house of R right behind him five and zero uh we're in the final moments here guys six minutes 26 seconds the circle is ever closing and we got a lot of whole teams left Ilbo. yeah this is uh this is really wild furious you're doing a great job trying to show it's, us where all of these uh there's just teams so are, many man. teams man there's yeah, so you're doing, many you're doing right your now. best brother you're doing your best man you see average a, joe's going on Cor corvus constructs right here they want to try to hold this high ground make corvus conscripts fall down average joe's is going yep there they go they're going to push them off of that high ground make corvus conscripts have to jump down to the ground have to deal with whoever's down there looks like vanguard black saw that and is now going to be trying to capitalize thunder from down under just got eliminated oh. by a misadventure from a misadventure so they either fell and died or they went out into the hunger so now there's 10 teams <laughs> 49 people left Bizra. it's starting to heat rest up in man peace, brother Let, five in minutes peace, brother. Bizra. five <laughs> minutes left in this match we are five minutes away from crowning a champion and look at all these teams in this in this spot Bizra. It just i i, I want to see I want to see somebody just just take it, man. Just start killing everybody. I just want to say uh, it's been a heck of a ride, guys. Welcome to the Shark Tank, uh, brought to you by Intel, Alienware, and Razer. Uh, we're gonna see a bloodbath. I hope you guys are ready. Hold on, we got five minutes left. Uh, just proud of all these teams here. Uh, good luck to anyone uh, who wins. And uh, this is it. This is the moment you guys have been waiting for. Uh, we're gonna get a. Uh, we're gonna get pretty spicy as this start, circle starts to close on these guys. Corvus Conscripts has three people left with the green shield there, and then we have Magnolia with the with the brown or the golden uh, black shield. They still have five people left. Good lord! Man, it looks like <laughs> yeah. Look at all these. Look at look them at all, man. Look at them by the cloud. <laughs> you can't even. You can't. I mean, like I'm, I can't even tell you really what's going on. There's just so many teams in one spot. Furious, you're doing a great job getting everybody in it, man. Just keep keep that going. Look at look at everybody. Just they're trying to. Everybody is trying to find an advantage here, Bizra. This is. I mean, everybody is so good at this game. Look at the train of people over there. Holy crap! I mean, just is I, everybody on. is. They're just. Oh I mean, no. this is just. Corvus conscripts got eliminated oh, no. by Magnolia. Magnolia was able to kit the elimination on Corvus Conscripts. All right, it's getting a little easier now. Nine teams left, 42 people. We see uh, Balathin trying to maybe clean up that uh, that member of... Uh, I didn't even catch that shield, I'm going to be honest with you. He did go down, though. Look at this party over here, Furious. Look at all these people. <laughs> it's, it's maddening, man. It's maddening how many teams, and they're all actively fighting, too. It's not like they're all sitting in their own corner. Everyone's trying to trying to find their spot, dude. It's this is incredible. <laughs> Everyone's trying to yeah, get that is... get that edge, man. Get that buff going into the final circles here. I mean, you definitely hit the nail on the head, man. You gotta try to find a place to call your home when you're in this type of situation because you don't want to be in between two teams. Everybody's kind of gotten their little corner, they're a little spread out now. We see YGG and uh, this uh, this other team here. Um, I'm sorry, threatening threatening with a good, good time. time. Yep. Yeah, they're they're trying to fight over this corner here. Really, they just need to spread it out. I mean, every team's just kind of slapping each other. They're just kind of poking at each other, looking for a person to take down. You know, they're they're trying to all you know focus down one person. Magnolia's taking down yeah. HOA in the distance. HOA just took a few losses. It looked like, or at least one. Circles coming in, guys. We're getting There's real tight. Left, why? Ezra. There is a reason why all these teams are in the finals, and this this shows, man. This really shows just Look how this, good man. all these players are. Big push in the distance. <sighs> Somebody's got to take that center control point. I mean, I, I get you don't want to be the center of attention, but, like, everybody, there's just too many people on the edges right now. You can't get behind people. You want to try to put people in between you and the, and the, and the hunger, but... It's just not working out. Average Sam Joe's taking some losses, a, it looks uh, like. 
Sambuka's gonna go down. down. Sambuka goes down. Weevils might go down next here. Oh, they got one guy left. There goes. Okay, so there goes down that. Average Joe's is getting a little low on people. Murderous Muddles. Murderous Muddles. Oh, no. Murderous Muddles Winter and Marauders are gonna out. go down. Eight, eight teams left, Ezra. Eight teams left. <laughs> And we are a minute and 50 Threaten seconds with a good away. Under fire in the center. Poor Skips. It's getting hammered on. All the, look at all these. I can't even. Good Lord. I can't even tell you what. Everybody's they got the last to... ever Joe's down. <laughs> this They're is gonna get him. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Vanguard Black average was able Joe's to take down. out Average Joe's. So okay, so I mean, we're 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 really uh, the key right now. If you're watching this, is to try to find five of the same sigil. Those are the teams that are going to have the best shot at trying to pull this out right now. If you don't have we're all five members still alive, you're going to have a real hard time when this circle finally starts closing all the way. As you can That's see, they're trying the to maybe start moving to this pedestal here. They got it. They, I mean, having mid control here, I feel like is extremely important, but nobody's taking it. Went with there we go. The has been eliminated. Just went down with down by YUD this. Brazil. Here it comes. Here, here it come. is. Here come the pushes, guys. Two seconds. I was thinking one of the hunger. To crown a winner. Look at all Huge these pushes. Push along with the secular pushes. Big AOE. The Big AOEs. Massive force pushes. Vanguard Black got pushed out into the into the uh, hunger there. Everybody knows that this is Abyssal. the last shot, man. House of Avari uh, goes House down. House of Avari has been eliminated. Abyssal goes Abyssal down. Abyssal has been eliminated oh too. Oh my god, oh my Four god. Teams, 15 <laughs> people. Oh! oh! Magnolia goes down. Magnolia Three teams down. left. Vanguard Black goes down. down. <laughs> what? Winter Rubik's Bass goes down. down. Why is she cheap? Why is she in Brazil? Welcome to Brazil, man. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. YGG Brazil was able to pull that out. Farnham was the what? last man standing. Welcome what? to Brazil. Oh my goodness. What? Uh, oh my goodness. That was just incredible. That ending there. Just outstanding. Bizra, I did that. I got it. That last, that last moment there literally went to just seconds just seconds look at the times for eliminations there just literally seconds in between everybody bizra just outstanding match man congratulations to ygg brazil look at this man just outstanding all of these teams really congratulations for everybody getting here that ending though was so look at look at 37 25 37 28 37 34 37 37 37 39 just seconds between all of these teams to be able to pull out the win there ygg brazil they did it in qualifier round two they did it in the finals biz just i can't i honestly can't believe it. i did not see that ending coming that way with that many teams still left in that final moment bizra these guys prepared for it you know it's it's crazy to see ygg brazil take it man they they had fights the whole match and they spent a lot of time just you know trying to pick up the pieces and keep it together but never never once did they lose focus they just took a minute if they needed to you know i saw them once sitting on top of that fort you know just regrouping with all five dudes up and it looks like they just took a took a minute and and you know took a deep breath and came back and they kicked ass man like it was it was just you know patience and and they made a team comp that they knew would hold in that that final circle there and uh you know there were a lot of pushes and and thunder and everything coming out there man it was just wild having all the teams yeah. die in such a short amount of time and just seeing you know shark after shark fight it was just nuts man and that was that was definitely crazy and what a way to end it's it Wait, what? Yeah, you said you said it, man. What a way to end it. I mean, we've been doing this all month now. Every Saturday and Sunday, we've had six qualifier rounds, three wild card rounds, and then today was finally the finals. YGG Brazil has been crowned the first ever Eternal Champion Series winners. Welcome to Brazil. Congratulations to everybody on that team: Farnum, Coyote, Udeb Pro, Mato Rindo and Heidi J I'm so, I definitely said that name wrong congratulations Edge. everybody Edge, I got you brother Edge. man just outstanding outstanding performance those 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 pushes at the end there I'm still trying to just like replay it in my mind right now Bizra just 
I, I can't believe it's over. I can't believe it's over. I mean, it was down to a minute. There were still nine teams, man. It was, whew, I'm just out of breath. I can't, I can't even contemplate what happened there. That was outstanding, Biz. I think uh, definitely saw a lot of teams go going crazy, you know, with pushes. And I think staying cool, calm, and collective and just working on what these teams practiced, uh, especially when it comes down to having all these skilled teams in a final circle, uh, most of them having five members still, it turned into a real testament of uh, endurance and uh, patience. There were some teams that were engaging in battles, you know, but there were teams that were sitting in, in the corner. Now, YGG Brazil wasn't one of those teams. They were fighting pretty much the whole time in that last circle, yep. uh, getting yep. eliminations on, I think, two of the teams there. Uh, but those dudes just uh, just held the best in that final circle. Uh, they had the fortitude to survive their hunger and and all the damage that the other teams are throwing at them. And again, I just I want to thank I want to say uh, congratulations to YGG Brazil, uh, ECS winners number one. Man, uh, crazy. Uh, they're my friends, but I I just got to give them a shout out and say uh, well played. And you guys worked hard for this, and and you've earned it for sure. Yeah, out, outstanding. I can't wait to hear from them. So in just a moment, we're going to have a special guest coming on to the show. They're going to be talking to the winners, so you're going to be able to see the reaction from the winners, hear more about their strategies, things like that. So we're going to be ending our segment of the show here just in just a moment. And uh, before I get out of here, before me and Bizra get out of here, I want to say thank you to everybody for watching, and thank you to Bizra, man. Thank you so much for doing this with me. I really enjoyed working with you, and uh, I cannot wait to, to see – you know, the future of Crowfall and to, uh, you know, work with you again in the future, man. Yeah, I love this game. I've been playing since 2018. These devs have been working their butts off uh, to put this together. Not only the tournament, but the game. Uh, if you are if you haven't checked it out, go to crowfall.com. Make sure you sign up, make an account, uh, reserve your name. And uh, all this treasure that, you know, you got today will be waiting for you in your inbox if you already did that and you haven't bought the game yet. Uh, but again, I just want to give a huge shout out to the sponsors for throwing down these huge prizes, Alienware, Intel, and Razer. I'm sure the players are going to be grateful and, and they're going to enjoy their new digs. I want to give a extra special shout out to Ace, obviously, for throwing the game together. This is my hobby and I, I definitely enjoy playing it. Uh, be sure to check me out by searching for Bizra, Twitch, Twitter, Twitter, and YouTube. And uh, I want to give a shout out to my boys, the spectators, who won't be rejoining us. Uh, all these guys are on Twitch. Uh, that have been spectating today's show. Check them out at Furious Beard Show on Twitch, uh, Rufio on Twitch, and It's Equinor on Twitch. Uh, it's been Bizra. Um, it's been a pleasure here, man. Uh, thank you guys for coming along with this journey with us. And uh, until next time, I'll see you at the next Shark Battle. I'm out. All right, Busy. Much love, brother. I will see you in Crowfall. And uh, we want to thank our sponsors once again before I get out of here. If you went to the Crowfall Game Twitter account and you retweeted this image, one of our sponsors, Alienware, we're working in collaboration with them to be able to get you guys some awesome Eternal Champion Series t-shirts. We have some winners of this. This is the last one. So I'm going to name off all of these winners, and I apologize if I uh, if I say these names wrong. So the winners are Nano Drizzle, Gina5360684, MTV's John, Fish Turd, J Tech Computers, Heart Steel Art, F Dad 84, Zero Guardian Angels, Kalade, Vogel 304, and Mathu Mathuzalis. Congratulations, everybody, and thank you so much for Alienware sponsoring the entire Eternal Champion series, providing those laptops to our uh, to our competitors and giving back to you guys through that awesome uh, Crowfall Game Twitter account challenge throughout the entire tournament. And then also thank you to Intel with their Core i9 10th generation processor helps Crowfall run buttery smooth. Thank you so much for you know supporting Crowfall, supporting the tournament, and giving to giving awesome processors to our competitors. And then last but not least, our signature sponsor Razer with their Chroma Series integrated peripherals, their Naga Mouse, Black Widow keyboard, their Siren microphone. Thank you so much for all of our sponsors and our signature sponsor Razer for hooking everything up. We uh man. It was an outstanding, outstanding month of Crowfall, everybody. We had, man, just a, a great time. I had a great time doing this. Thank you so much for all the support. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, it's been it's been great. Thank you so much for Ace for, for doing this and asking me to do this. And, um, you know, the production company behind the scenes, putting in all the hours. 
Uh, my name is Dilbo Davgins. That's Dilbo with the B. You can go to twitch.tv slash Dilbo Davgins to check me out. And then coming up right now is the one, the only, the founder of J of Crowfall, J Todd. He's a legend in the community, man. He's going to be talking with the winners. So stick around and make sure you guys are here for J Todd. Thank you so much. I'll see you around. All right, hey guys. I don't know. I don't know how much of a special guest star I am. You're pretty, uh, pretty used to seeing me at this point at our monthly Q and As. In fact, we have another one coming uh, this week. So, um, uh, so, but thank you, thank you for the intro. And I, I especially want to throw out a thank you to uh, Dilbo and Bizra um, uh, for hosting all of these. You guys did a spectacular job, and I want to thank our um, our spectators who did a great job as well. Uh, so furious Rufio Equinar, of course, the, the, our staff, all the, all the people back at Artcraft, right? Um, we're not just a company. We're actually just a bunch of gamers, right? We're, we're people just like you guys. And so this is nerve wracking and exciting for us as well. We've never done one of these before, but, uh, I think it was really cool. It was a lot of fun to watch. And I want to thank everybody who participated. We had over 50 different teams, uh, who participated in the various matches to get to this point. Uh, this was a tough match, man. This could have come down to anyone here at the end. We had some amazing talent uh, who made it here in the finals. So I want to uh, thank and crad- congratulate all the teams for participating today. Um, so the uh, the competition is over, but we've still got a lot going on. This week is going to be a big week for us, actually. Uh, so just to kind of, uh, before we jump over to the, um, to the winning team to, to have a quick chat with them, we thought we would roll a little footage showing you some of the highlights of this week. Um, it's been a, or this, this month rather, it's been a, a pretty cool ride. Hopefully you guys can show that. <laughs> Buckle up, we're about to see the pain coming, man. You can have this res, but if you can't win the fight, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, this is definitely the shark pool, man. And these, these teams are hungry. This is going to be a hell of an ending. This is for the money, $25,000 in cash, another $25,000 in prizes for, for these top teams. Any performance. Oh my, oh my goodness. goodness. This is for the money, Dilbo. Here we go. As the circle closes, there's nowhere to hide. Things are heating up. Huge knockdown. Nobody can, oh, this, who is going to be able to win this? <laughs> wow. Holy I cow. did not see that coming at all. Cool. All right. So, uh, so there you go. Quick video showing off some of the highlights of uh, of what we saw over the course of the last um, course of the last couple weekends. So, uh, thanks everybody for coming and, and hanging out with us here on Memorial Day weekend. So, uh, I think we're going to jump over to talk to the the team lead of Ig Brazil. Um, so, uh, let's give just one quick second for them to bring him online. Hey, how are you? Hello, Todd. How are you? Oh, I can't hear you. Are you there? Hello, Todd. Yes, I'm here. Yeah, hello. Can you hear How me? are you? Yeah, hello. I sure How can. Are you? Uh, so, congratulations. Yeah. That was, uh, was a heck of Thank a you. match. So, yeah, so where, are you guys connect- where are you connecting from, specifically? I'm from Belo Horizonte. It's uh, one of the biggest cities in Brazil. We have Farnham from Rio. We have UTED Pro from Guyana, is another capital here from another state. And we have Mata Hindu that's actually living in Boston, but he, but he is a Brazilian from Rio. Oh, that's awesome. And we have that's really, really cool. From that's cool. So how long have you guys been playing uh, been playing Crowfall? UTED has been playing for like two or three years, I think. The the rest of us, we play for more, like one, one year and a half, something like that. I don't remember the cool. exact date. And- I did have some experience here in this game. Yeah, for sure. I mean, that that showed all of the teams. Actually, you could tell we're we're um, we're incredibly skilled going into the end of the match. The style of play very different than just watching you know random matches or watching even the early qualifiers. Um, so, what as a coming into the match, you know, did you guys have a specific game plan that you were going to, and did that game plan survive contact with the enemy? You know, in the qualifier, we just tried to survive, and we were able to to finish the hunger with the five of us alive. But we knew that it was 
it was it would not work in the finals because of the quality of the team. So we have to go to go aggressive. We tested a lot of things. We tested everything we could test. Different focus, oh, different cool. compositions, different healers. We test everything, and we went oh, well, with the last one. Practice paid off for sure. Yeah, for sure. Of course, there is a uh, random in the in the ending. is hard to 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 know exactly what to do in that mess in the final mess. But it's a it's a funny mess. It's a good mess. We were able to to be alive. It's the final uh, objective in this game mode. Yeah, well, you you guys did have the most elimination. So so at the end of the day, that little bit of benefit you get going into the hunger certainly paid off. Um, so, well, uh, one thing I do want to say is, is um, in addition to just general congratulations, we have a fair amount of prizes coming your way, right? We've got $25,000 for your team, uh, and then we got a handful of, of uh, prizes coming as well. Um, we've got uh, some M15 R4 gaming laptops, um, five of them coming from Alienware. We've got Razer Black Shark uh, V2 headsets for all five of you guys, and Naga X mice as well, and some Firefly uh, V2 Chroma mats. So, um you got a nice bundle of prizes coming, so you can feel really good about uh, yeah, about sure. how your team how your team stepped up. For sure, it's a great um, uh, prize for the final. We are very very happy with, with that. That's cool. Well, thank you very much, and and thanks for for supporting Crowfall and 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 playing us uh, um, for all this time. It's it's at the end of the day, we say it all the time, but it bears repeating. We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for for our our backers and our fans. So thank you so much. Yeah, we thank you too, and we would like to thank all the community. We have been having some fun with them for like one year and a half. So everyone is a part of this game, is a part of this Hungry Dome final. We, we would like to thank everybody. That's really cool. Well, thank, thank you very much. All right, well. Bizra, and I would like to congratulate Bizra and Dilbo for the streaming. They did a great job there. It was very fun Absolutely. to watch them streaming the game. And we loved it. Cool. Well, if and when we do another one, we'll hope to see you guys back so you can defend your title. Yeah, we're going to be there. <laughs> Sounds great. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. All right. And real quick, before we get out of here, I also wanted to take an opportunity to uh, to introduce you guys to our sponsors who really, I mean, this whole thing wouldn't have happened, right, if, if we hadn't had such amazing sponsors step up and really make it happen. So the first of them is uh, Justin, who's uh, going to be joining us from Razor. Uh, this isn't going to be a big, long thing or anything like that. We just wanted to give them a chance to jump on and so we could thank them here in front of in front of our whole audience and in front of our community. Hey, Justin. Hey, how's it going? It's going pretty well, actually. That was that was pretty cool. That was a lot of fun to a lot of fun to watch. That was an awesome that was this awesome ending and congrats to the uh, team brazil those guys were fantastic and and for them for the win yeah so i i want to say thank you to to razor uh, you guys have been a, a huge partner for us you you kind of help get the word out um and of course the prizes are are amazing um we couldn't ask for for better partners than we got and you guys are at the top of that list so i just wanted to to be able to say that to you publicly uh, you know, we appreciate it. I mean, we love being able to support our, our development partners and, and you guys um, uh, did a, a wonderful job with Crowfall and it showed uh, and it was it's a great experience overall. It's fantastic to see. Well, thank you. I mean, at the end of the day, right, we're not we're not a big, big publisher. Right? We're not we're not you know, it's it's there's the EAs and the Activisions and the 10 cents of the world. And we're not those guys. So for you guys to be willing to show support to an indie studio who doesn't have a publisher's backing, that's huge. That's a really, really big deal because it would be very easy to just go, oh, well, all the small guys don't matter. We'll wait until they get big. But you really haven't done that. So thank you for that, sincerely. It, it means a world to us as a small company. And, and, and likewise, I mean, we, we try not to, you know, look at uh, partners as, as according to their size or anything like that. It's really all about, you know, bringing great content to the audience out there and just, you know, for gamers, by gamers. I mean, we have this mentality. We just want to do everything, uh, everything we can possible for the gaming community out there. And supporting you guys has just been a wonderful experience and allow us to, to continue to do so. That's really cool. All right. Well, thank you very much, Justin. Thanks for stopping by. Not a problem. Take care. All right. And uh, next up, we're going to chat. And there's only a couple of these. Next up, I want to say a quick thank you to, to Anthony over at Twitch. I think we have him on the line as well. Hopefully. Oh, I hate it when it does that. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Anthony. 
Hey, how you doing? Sorry, I've, I've been having some computer issues today. So it's been it's been a whole thing and a half. And uh, and uh, I just finally was able to log in. So I'm glad oh, glad you were. You didn't get to see the match. Well, you can you can certainly check it out. I'm sure we'll have it archived. But it was a, it was a good match. It was a, a great way to end this uh, tournament. First time we've ever done one of these. Um, yeah, I can mm -hmm. tell you've got some computer strangeness going on. It seems like your Zoom is oh, yeah. jumping all over the place. Um, so, but, uh, you guys, you guys were really um, very open to hosting us for the uh, for this for this tournament. Like I said, we've never done one, and we certainly aren't, you know, one of those big companies that's used to doing this. So, uh, I just want to say thank you for for giving us the support. You're an old like Shadowbane fan, right, from back in the day. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah, yeah, that's true. So, so, that's true. Yeah, that's really. That's really cool. Thank uh, you've been you've been watching these kind of games in for a long time. Not this particular mm -hmm. mode, but uh, competitive online PvP stuff is kind of your uh, bread and butter. So yeah, that's true. I I, I um actually so uh, Debbie Sue from your side has has been extremely extremely like descriptive of like this is how every single thing works, and so we find, we actually got to to try the game on our side over at Twitch a bit, and it was it was a ton of fun. Um, not this mode oh, cool. itself, but like. I'm looking forward to jumping in myself, uh, especially after seeing some of the matches. Not today's, unfortunately, but uh, the prior matches were like super exciting. So I'm, I'm super, super good. happy about it. I would that. definitely check this one out if you can because it was a master class, right? I mean, the, the teams that mm -hmm. got lined up for finals, they were they're they're the best of the best. They are really, really good at what they do. So uh, definitely jump in and take a look. Uh, um, they don't make any of the kind of mistakes I make when I get it hundred out. <laughs> <laughs> So, cool. Well, thank you very much for, for helping us uh, get some attention over at Twitch and, and using y'all's platform. Um, uh, it's, it's a like I mentioned to, to, to Justin over at Razor, it's a really big deal for a small company to be able to get some attention because the game space is so noisy and there's so much money that floats around, right, to get capture attention. So being able to be a small company and have a chance to, to actually get people even get eyeballs on us, it's a really big deal. Yeah, and honestly, when we saw when we saw the game, we were just like, "Oh man, this is this is awesome, and it looks great." So we were glad to give you the attention, and like you know, make sure you got some front page over there so people could see you know just how great of a game you you built. And I'm glad that people enjoyed themselves. That's cool. Well, thank you very much. Thanks for stopping by as well. Definitely check out the the check out the match when you get a chance. Oh, you bet. I definitely will be. All right. Cool. See you, Anthony. All right, and next up we've got uh, from Alienware, we've got Winnie who's going to be joining us. Um, Alienware, of course, you know, uh, was kind enough to provide us with some, some laptops to our winning team, which is really, really cool. Hey, Winnie, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing good. Was, Did you make, uh, were you able to see the match? Oh, I watched the entire match, and it was just, I was getting tense, like, towards the very end when they were all just kind of coming in at that center. I was like, oh, my God, who's going to take it? Who's going to take it? So it was so exciting to watch, and yeah, uh, this game really is going to cool blow up. This is going to blow up. I'm telling you. It's gonna. Oh, well, it's so exciting I, just to watch, so I'm excited. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, we, we set out to do something with Crowfall that was very, very different, and I, I should remind everybody that Hunger Dome is not the game, right? The game is the MMO. Hunger Dome is a mode that we put together because players asked for it and it was a, a stretch right. goal. But at the end of the day, it was something to kind of give people a taste of what the game is like. The actual overall game is this much more massive, big, living, breathing world. So I'm super excited that we're to the point that we are. Um, uh, so I'm, I'm, I just wanted to have a chance to thank you guys um, who supported us with, because, you know, a little company, we, you know, how do we get people excited enough to, to be able to participate in this stuff? And um, no, at we, the end of the day, it's great. It's great. when you guys offer <laughs> We are always to, to happy to support prizes. indie, you know, indie developers and publishers and games, because that's where it all starts, right? You know, everyone's an so indie cool. at some point, And so you just yeah. blow up and we're going to, you know, support you along the way as much as we can. So I am that's cool. well, know, the, excited. The laptops look awesome. I tried yes. to convince Debbie Sue that we should only give away four of them, and the last one should be <laughs> given to me. She didn't uh, allow me to do that, so maybe next year. <laughs> For the next one, yes. We'll work that out. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> that is awesome. Well, congratulations well, to YGG because they were they just took it by surprise, I think, when I was watching it. So it was really great to see everybody play, and it's an amazing game, and I'm happy that we were able to support it. Yeah, I think it's really cool that we had teams competing in the finals, right, worldwide. I think that that's also really cool. That's that's a pretty pretty neat thing. Is this was a you know we had teams connecting from overseas, we had teams connecting from Brazil. It's, it's it overall it was just it was a really cool match and it was a fun experience. Uh, so 
Definitely. Okay, well, thank you very much for stopping by. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Hopefully next year you'll join us again. <laughs> I, I will be watching you guys very closely. <laughs> cool. All right, and I think we've got uh, just one more, which is Kim from Intel. Um, and, of course, Intel through in the processors, which is really, really cool of them. Oh, do we not have Kim? All right. Well, if we don't have Kim, then I'm going to just say overall, I want to also throw out a big thank you to Intel for being well, willing to step up as sponsors as well. I mean, for um, for us, it's a big deal, right? We, we kind of made a wish list of who we could possibly go to that would be good sponsors. And we were shocked that the answer was um, they, they were all willing to come in and be sponsors. I mean, that's that's just really cool. So thank you, guys. We couldn't have done this without you. Um, so uh, I think we're just about ready to wrap up. We do have a big week coming with some big announcements. Uh, um, so stay tuned. Uh, Thursday is our ACE Q&A, where we talk to you guys about what's coming up and the roadmap and answer questions and things like that. So uh, let's see. So the other thing that I wanted to say is... Uh, basically, oh yeah, well the biggest thank you of all, right, which is the thank you guys, um, our, our committed loyal following who's willing to show up and watch us on Memorial Day weekend, you're willing to come to Discord and come to the forums and uh, make your voices heard. Uh, it's been a real in interesting experience building this game because it's so different, right, opening the kimono from the very beginning and doing a transparent um, development cycle where we're really constantly having you guys come in and check out what we do and making changes based on your feedback um it uh it it is definitely a, a different different way to develop for me um there's a lot of things about it that are challenging and there's a lot of things about it that are really cool um i've said it and gordon has said it a million times but it always bears repeating we literally would be here building this game if it wasn't for you guys i, I consider you guys. um so i just want to thank you for being there to give your feedback, for being there to play, to help us test, to help us find the bugs, to help us, uh, you know, turn this vision into something real and breathe life into this world. Um, thank you so much. Uh, and uh, I think that just about wraps up our first um, eSports e e Eternal Champion Series. Um, I'm excited now. Actually, I'm kind of excited to have this one done because I'm ready to get back to thinking about the MMO, which is where my, my real love and passion lies um so uh we'll get starting you know tomorrow and for this week we'll be back to talking about the mmo and what's going on there and i hope you guys can join us on the same twitch channel this thursday for our hq and a and until next time i will see you in game thanks guys <laughs>